the Honorable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, ten days ago, the Prime Minister promised to participate in the Copenhagen Conference, provided that other heads of state first confirmed their attendance. Well, 65 have done so. The United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, Sweden, Spain, Australia, Brazil will all be in attendance. Not only will President Obama be there, but his uh, Secretary for Homeland Security, Agriculture, Energy and Trade will also be attend. Now that all of these others have taken the first step, will the Prime Minister attend the Copenhagen Conference? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I've always been clear if there is a meeting of all major leaders involving in climate change, I will, of course, attend. Mr. Speaker, I would just note that uh, President Obama uh, has not confirmed his attendance at the leaders' meeting in Copenhagen. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I've discussed the matter with him directly. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, in less than a year, the United States government has produced a comprehensive 1,428-page plan for climate change. The White House announced today that in Copenhagen, the U.S. will showcase its technologies, its investments, and its know-how in order to, quote, provide domestic and global leadership in the transition to a clean energy economy. Why have the Conservatives given up on energy efficiency, renewables, and clean energy jobs? Why, after four years and three ministers, will we, will we not only be missing an action in Copenhagen, but negotiating off a blank page. The Honourable Minister of the yes, Environment. Sir, let's, uh, let's discuss what the White House announced today, Mr. Speaker. Today, the, uh, the President of the United States indicated targets would be conditional targets put forward in Copenhagen, virtually identical to the targets that this government has put forward, Mr. Speaker. So my question, my question actually of the Liberal member, Mr. Speaker, is this. Yesterday, he stood in the House along with his party, voted for European targets that would isolate this country, would damage our economy, would not achieve environmental outcomes. He said previously they would never do this. How does he explain that, Mr. Speaker? Honourable Member 